When I die, I want to go peacefully like my grandfather did. In his sleep. Not yelling and screaming. Like the passengers in his car. Men only have two states. Aroused, and waiting to be aroused next. The latter does not last. Very long. The New England Journal of Medicine reports that, 9 out of 10 doctors agree. That 1 out of 10 doctors is an idiot. No way. I wonder whether my GP is that. 1 out of 10. My son was wearing a t-shirt with a slogan, My best time will someday come. I went to him and said, Son, this is your best time happening already. You live in a big house, have great food, have multiple cars and gadgets. Your t-shirt should say, Living my best times, aiming to keep them rolling. A crow is perched high up in a tree, just chilling all day, doing absolutely nothing. Along hops a rabbit who looks up and thinks, that looks pretty sweet. So, he calls out to the crow, hey, can I join you and do nothing all day? The crow looks down and shrugs, sure, why not? It's a free world. So, the rabbit settles down on the ground below and kicks back, ready to embrace the art of doing nothing. Out of nowhere, a fox leaps out, grabs the rabbit, and, well, Let's just say the rabbit's day of relaxation didn't last long. The moral of the story? If you want to sit around doing nothing, make sure you're sitting very high up. Two factory workers are talking. The woman says, I can make the boss give me the day off. The man replies, and how would you do that? The woman says, just wait and see. She then hangs upside down from the ceiling. The boss comes in and says, what are you doing? The woman replies, I'm a light bulb. The boss then says, you've been working so much that you've gone crazy. I think you need to take the day off. The man starts to follow her and the boss says, where are you going? The man says, I'm going home too. I can't work in the dark. Every 10 years, the monks in the monastery are allowed to break their vow of silence to speak two words. <gasps> 10 years go by and it's one monk's first chance. He thinks for a second before saying, food bad. Hmm. Interesting. 10 years later, he says, bed hard. No way. It's the big day, a decade later. He gives the head monk a long stare and says, I quit. Huh? I'm not surprised, the head monk says. Aww. You've been complaining, ever since you got here. <laughs> the boy enters a barber shop and the barber whispers to his customer. This is the dumbest kid in the world. Watch while I prove it to you. The barber puts a dollar bill in one hand and two quarters in the other. Then calls the boy over and asks, which do you want, son? The boy takes the quarters and leaves. What did I tell you? Said the barber. That kid never learns. Later, when the customer leaves, he sees the same young boy coming out of the ice cream store. Hey, son. May I ask you a question? Why did you take the quarters instead of the dollar bill? The boy licked his cone and replied, because the day I take the dollar, the game is over. <laughs>